In this tutorial, we will be looking at x-intercepts of rational functions and the connection between the equations and graphs of these functions. When looking at the equation of a rational function, we can determine the x-intercepts by looking at the factors of the numerator. Here, we have the graph of a rational function that has one x-intercept, and it is at x equals negative 3. Now let's take a look at the equation of this function. Looking at the numerator, we see there are two factors. We can ignore the first because it is a point of discontinuity, as there is an x minus 1 or a factor in the denominator as well. That leaves us with a factor of x plus 3. When we solve x plus 3 for 0, we get x equals negative 3, the location of the x-intercept. Therefore, once we've discarded the points of discontinuity, the factors left in the numerator are the locations of the x-intercepts. Here we have three examples. The equations are already factored for you. Take a few minutes to see if you can determine where the x-intercepts will be for each. It is important to know that a rational function can have 0, 1, or multiple x-intercepts. Press pause and when you're ready, continue the video. Once we ignore the point of discontinuity at x equals negative 6, the first equation has three x-intercepts at x equals negative 5, 2, and 3. In the second example, there are no points of discontinuity. The x-intercept is at x equals 0. In the final example, once we ignore the point of discontinuity at x equals 2, we see there are no x-intercepts. In this lesson, you learned that the x-intercepts are found in the numerator. Once the points of discontinuity are ignored, the x-intercepts are the remaining factors and their location is determined by solving the factors for 0. A rational function can have 0, 1, or multiple x-intercepts.